That's fine. Don't touch it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, don't touch it. You can hear the music. Don't fine. fucking touch it. Turns out my baby's super chill. I was hanging out with my newborn baby son the other day, and turns out he's pretty fucking chill, dude. Bro, he's pretty fucking chill, dude. <laughs> like, do they have personality at this age? They really can't do much right now, you know? He can't even really see, you know? He's fucking... He can only see black and white, and fucking... He just wants to fucking eat, so, you know? I've been working on my children's character impressions for the kids, and, uh... <laughs> I, uh... I think I have Elmo perfected. <laughs> Let me hear your Elmo, dude. Hi, I'm Elmo! <laughs> Close, right? Oh, that was actually really good. Close, that was, right? That was actually pretty dead on. I'm not even yeah. gonna lie. That was that. That sounded like Elmo, dude. Can't even lie. That was that was actually really impressive. You've been working on that? No. <laughs> oh, you just pulled that off? Damn, yeah. dude. It's a natural Elmo impersonator. <laughs> or sorry, impressionist. Impressionist. I guess. I don't know, dude. I gotta get an Elmo suit. You gotta, you're gonna be making money off your Elmo voice, dude. <laughs> then I'll be a full-time Elmo impersonator. Just walking around. Hi, I'm Elmo. Yeah, just going to parties. Just like, you wanna die like tonight? <laughs> oh my god. What song do we name this? Fuck. What song? What? Uh, Sipping on Saturn is playing right now. Oh, did somebody ask? Oh, you wanna do a... An album live stream at the house. Analyzing it. Not not like focusing on the fact that it's the new album, but just I'm just listening to it and it's just like, you know it's not bad. I'm not like, oh what the fuck is this? I mixed it against um Pearl Jam's Better Man. Oh yeah. I mean we have grunge vocals. <laughs> like I wanna hear what a fucking grunge artist sounds like and like if we can bring that nostalgia and feel back. I feel like that'll work to our benefit. We're just rapping. We're just like spit. We're like we're like laying down tracks now, and rapping all day. <laughs> A song with the hook swag like high tops. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sell that hard because I'll be on that hard. <laughs> no, all right. I'm just going to say it because it's anti it's incredibly anti-racist. I just, just didn't know. <laughs> all right. So the song starts, right? The song's so not racist, bro. This random Latin sample. Don't know what it's from. Right, so um, there's a cross, and these KKK members have oh my God. tied up a black person, and but the beat's about to drop, okay? And then on the beat drop, the black person is setting the KKK member on fire on the cross. <laughs> Somebody does die. That's gonna be your Harlem Shake. <laughs> I'm gonna direct it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want five pictures of Spider Man on my desk tomorrow. That would go viral. That would I mean it would have to go viral because it's gonna be on the news that you made a TikTok and <laughs> earned somebody on the it's cross. It's definitely gonna go viral. It has no choice but to go viral. But how easy do you think it'd be to get get me a KKK? Very member? easy. There is a lot more KKK members still around than you would think. Well, I know that, but how? open about that is it you definitely find it find them why aren't there kkk hunts no but they did it <laughs> well that was a different time back then dylan that was like what the 50s or some shit i mean small towns bro like they have their own police department like Uncovered. you need to localize yourself in a small racist town but the other police officers there will be the kkk members all My Harlem Shake has a budget of about two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars? Dude, just cut a tree down. You cut a tree and make my own cross. Yeah, dude. Come on. <laughs> and then I mean, like expenses in finding a KKK member, dude. Police, police academy. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna eventually start getting paid. 
as a police officer. Oh, I don't want to join the KKK. I want to infiltrate a town and destroy racism from the inside out. I'm good. I'm really good at sound effects. It's the fucking movie, The Police Academy. With the fucking oh with the, uh, with the fucking guy who does the sound effects with the little. Go to China. Would you like to burn a KKK member? So uh, we're here shooting a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the show Would You Rather. Let's play Would You Rather then. We're calling all KKK members Richards from now on. <laughs> sorry, Richards. Yeah, sorry, Richards. Looks like you now guys you, are out of luck. Now you have to go by dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you think that's the nickname for it? Because it's a racist ass name. Yeah, they had to come up with another one. Like, damn, right. man, those guys, oh, Richards, my. are so racist. Yeah, dude, they're fucking dukes. <laughs> like, yo, what's up, Duke? <laughs> my name's my name's Richard. <laughs> no, your name's Dick now. Cause you're a racist ass Richard. <laughs> yeah, you're a racist ass Richard. <laughs> Understand greatness, love yourself. Joe Byron. Official slogan of Joe Byron. Understand greatness, love yourself. It's from our sponsor, Joe Biden. <laughs> Yeah, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, the United States Prison. <laughs> He's sponsoring this stream right now. <laughs> All right.